Directed by Sam Peckinpah, The Wild Bunch became a pivotal moment in cinema, altering Hollywood's production of Western films. Its unflinching depiction of brutality and raw characters left audiences stunned, setting a new standard for realism and challenging previous norms of the genre. This film not only entertained, but also sparked discussions on the portrayal of violence in media. The Wild Bunch, a film that came out in 1969, featured a cast including William Holden, Robert Ryan, Ernest Borgnine, Edmund O'Brien, Ben Johnson, and Warren Oates. It was notable for its graphic portrayal of violence, which was a significant departure from the traditional portrayal of conflict in American Western films. The movie's depiction of outlaws and their struggles against an evolving American frontier was both stark and raw, presenting a narrative that did not shy away from the brutal realities of its setting. This approach to storytelling in the Western genre was a shift from previous films, offering audiences a more unvarnished look at the themes of loyalty, honor, and betrayal among thieves and lawmen alike. The Wild Bunch's influence is seen in how it redefined the genre's boundaries and set new standards for on-screen violence and character depth in Westerns. Upon its release, The Wild Bunch became a subject of intense debate and criticism for pushing the boundaries of on-screen violence and nudity. Warner Brothers, the distributor, initially hesitated to release the film, fearing negative public and critical reaction to its explicit content. The film's portrayal of brutal violence was unlike anything seen before in mainstream cinema, leading to a divided reception. Some critics and audiences condemned the film for what they considered gratuitous violence and nudity, while others praised it for its honest depiction of the wild nature of the American West and the outlaws who roamed it. Despite the initial controversy, the film eventually gained recognition for its innovative and realistic action sequences, complex characters, and moral ambiguity, which influenced future generations of filmmakers and became a landmark in the Western genre. The debate it sparked about the representation of violence in cinema remains a significant part of its legacy. During the production of The Wild Bunch, director Sam Peckinpah was known for his exacting standards and uncompromising vision, which often led to high-stress situations on set. His approach to filmmaking was rigorous, and he demanded a great deal from everyone involved in the project. This intensity sometimes resulted in heated exchanges and confrontations with both the crew and cast members. The environment on set was charged, as Peckinpah would not settle for anything less than what he envisioned for the film. This dedication to his craft, while it created a challenging atmosphere, was aimed at achieving the authenticity and rawness that the film is known for. The tension on set, though difficult for those involved, contributed to the powerful performances and the film's lasting influence on the genre. During the production of The Wild Bunch, the film directed by Sam Peckinpah in 1969, there were notable disagreements and tension among the cast, particularly involving the lead actor William Holden. The conflict arose over a seemingly minor issue Holden's mustache. This disagreement between Holden and Peckinpah was emblematic of the broader discord that permeated the set. As the filming progressed, the atmosphere became increasingly strained, with disputes between Peckinpah and various cast members becoming more frequent and intense. These issues did not deter the film's progress, but added to the challenging environment in which the classic Western was created. In the 1969 film The Wild Bunch, directed by Sam Peckinpah, one of the notable scenes that stands out for its symbolic representation of the film's overarching theme of brutality is the moment when a scorpion is dropped into an ant hill. This scene is not only striking visually, but also serves as a metaphor for the violent and ruthless nature of the character's world. The scorpion, an arachnid known for its deadly sting, is overwhelmed by the sheer number of ants, which can be seen as a reflection of the character's own struggles against overwhelming odds. The ants, typically perceived as industrious and communal insects in this context, become agents of destruction, mirroring the film's portrayal of human nature and the consequences of violent actions. This scene encapsulates the film's exploration of the thin line between civilization and savagery and the ease with which one can descend into primal instincts when faced with survival. The imagery is powerful and leaves a lasting impression on the viewer, effectively conveying the film's central message through a simple yet profound visual metaphor. John Wayne, a prominent figure in classic Western films, expressed his disapproval of the 1969 film The Wild Bunch. He believed that the movie's portrayal of violence and moral ambiguity did not honor the traditional values and heroic image of the Old West. 
Wayne felt that the film's director, Sam Peckinpah, depicted a distorted and negative version of the frontier life that was central to many of Wayne's own films. His critique highlighted a clash between the evolving modern western genre, which the Wild Bunch represented, and the classic westerns that Wayne starred in, which often showcased clear-cut heroes and villains, and a more romanticized view of the American West. Wayne's disapproval stemmed from his view that the film could potentially tarnish the legendary status of western frontier heroes by presenting them in a flawed and unheroic light. During the filming of The Wild Bunch, the production team encountered significant logistical challenges. One notable incident involved actor Ernest Borgnine, who sustained a broken foot, which required adjustments to the shooting schedule and scenes involving his character. Additionally, the film's authenticity was paramount, leading to an extensive search for period-appropriate attire for the numerous extras. This pursuit of historical accuracy necessitated a considerable wardrobe department effort to outfit the cast in a manner befitting the era, further complicating the logistics of the production process. These issues exemplify the behind-the-scenes efforts required to bring the film's vision to life. A 1969 film, The Wild Bunch, experienced a significant budget increase during its production, ultimately costing $6 million to create. Despite the expanded budget and a prolonged shooting schedule, the film achieved substantial commercial success. Upon release, it garnered a total of $11 million in global box office revenue, securing its position as one of the top earning films of that year. The financial outcome of The Wild Bunch reflects the audience's appreciation and the film's ability to draw viewers, contributing to its financial triumph despite the initial budgetary escalation. The Wild Bunch, released in 1969, directed by Sam Peckinpah, is a film that has significantly influenced Western cinema. Its realistic depiction of violence and complex characters brought a new level of depth to the genre. The movie's raw and unfiltered portrayal of the American West challenged previous romanticized visions and paved the way for filmmakers to explore more serious themes within the Western framework. The Wild Bunch's stylistic choices, particularly its innovative use of slow motion violence, have been widely adopted in subsequent films, altering the aesthetic and narrative approach to action sequences. This film has also inspired directors to delve into moral ambiguities and the darker aspects of human nature, setting a precedent for character development and storytelling in westerns and beyond. The 1969 film The Wild Bunch, directed by Sam Peckinpah, is known for its influential style and the way it redefined the Western genre. Among its most significant contributions to cinema is the memorable quote, If they move, kill them. This line, delivered by the character Pike Bishop, played by William Holden, during a tense moment, has been celebrated for its stark portrayal of the character's readiness to use lethal force. It reflects the brutal reality of the character's lives as outlaws in the American West, and it encapsulates the film's themes of survival and loyalty. The quote's enduring popularity underscores its powerful impact on audiences and its standing as a notable moment in film history. The 1969 film The Wild Bunch, directed by Sam Peckinpah, is notable for its technical aspects, particularly the editing style that was revolutionary at the time. The film employs rapid edits and short shot lengths to create intense action sequences that convey the chaos and brutality of the gunfights. This technique was instrumental in shaping the film's dynamic pacing and has been influential in action cinema. The editing not only enhances the visual experience, but also serves to heighten the emotional tension, immersing the audience in the film's confrontations. The use of these quick cuts is consistent throughout the movie, establishing a rhythm that keeps viewers engaged and contributes to the overall narrative flow. The film's technical prowess in editing is a significant factor in its lasting appeal and critical acclaim. The 1969 film The Wild Bunch, directed by Sam Peckinpah, is known for its groundbreaking and influential filmmaking techniques. During production, several scenes were improvised, which added a layer of realism and unpredictability to the film's narrative. The director, known for his innovative approach, often employed unconventional methods to elicit genuine reactions from the cast. One such tactic was the hiring of local women from the filming locations to play the roles of prostitutes, which brought an authentic atmosphere to the scene set in a Mexican bordello. These directorial choices contributed to the raw and visceral quality of the film, making it a significant work in the history of cinema. 
The authenticity achieved through these methods help to immerse the audience in the story, blurring the lines between performance and reality. The Wild Bunch, released in 1969, faced skepticism prior to its release due to its explicit content and the shifting landscape of Hollywood at the time. However, the film defied expectations and achieved substantial commercial success. It garnered attention for its authentic portrayal of the Western genre, which resonated with audiences and critics alike. The movie's performance at the box office reflected the public's appreciation for its artistic approach and the director's vision. This success was significant, considering the film industry's evolving dynamics during that period, marking The Wild Bunch as a standout film that captivated viewers and secured a profitable return on investment. The Wild Bunch, directed by Sam Peckinpah and released in 1969, is a film that has significantly influenced the Western genre. Set in 1913, it tells the story of an aging outlaw gang on the Texas-Mexico border trying to adapt to the changing modern world while executing one last heist. The film is known for its graphic violence and the portrayal of the gang's struggle against an evolving society. Its realistic depiction of the brutality of the time, along with complex characters and moral ambiguity, has made it a classic, altering the public's perception of the Western hero and the mythic West. The Wild Bunch's use of slow motion effects during action sequences also set a new standard for cinematic technique. The movie concludes with a final bloody confrontation that serves as a fitting end to the outlaw's way of life and to the film itself, cementing its status as a pivotal work that redefined the genre.